Picture this 160 million years ago in ancient China, a young Limosaurus hatches with a mouthful of sharp serrated teeth, perfectly designed for tearing flesh and cracking bones. It hunts scavenges and fights for survival like any respectable theropod predator. But as the months pass, uh, something extraordinary begins to happen. One by one, those deadly weapons start falling out. No replacement teeth grow back. Instead, a hard, smooth beak begins to form. By adulthood, this once fierce predator has become a gentle herbivore using stomach stones to grind up plants. This isn't science fiction. This is the remarkable true story of ontogenetic edentialism. Scientists expected to find typical theropod carnivores in the Chinese mud pits, but instead discovered something that challenged everything they knew about dinosaur behavior. In 2009, paleontologists working in the Shishugo formation of northwestern China stumbled upon an unusual concentration of small theropod fossils. These weren't scattered bones or partial skeletons like most dinosaur discoveries. Instead, they found complete, perfectly preserved specimens trapped in what researchers would later call dinosaur death pits. The initial confusion hit the research team immediately. Led by Xu Xing, the paleontologists found themselves staring at both toothed and toothless specimens that appeared to belong to the same species. This made no sense according to established theropod classification systems. Some specimens displayed rows of sharp serrated teeth, perfect for slicing meat, while others showed completely smooth, toothless jaws with beak-like structures. The team's first assumption was simple. They had discovered two different species of ceratosaurian dinosaurs living in the same ecosystem. These death pits formed through a bizarre geological process that created perfect preservation conditions. Giant sauropod dinosaurs had walked across the landscape, their massive feet creating deep impressions in the muddy ground. When the seasonal rains came, these footprints filled with liquid mud that became deadly traps for smaller animals. The consistency was just right to allow carcasses to float briefly before settling at the bottom, preventing scavenging and ensuring rapid burial within a single year. What made this discovery extraordinary was the sheer number of complete specimens. 19 perfectly articulated skeletons represented every growth stage from hatchlings to fully mature adults, creating what paleontologists call a growth series. As Dr. James Clark from, from George Washington University explained, first, it's very rare to find a growth series from baby to adult dinosaurs. Second, this unusually dramatic change in anatomy suggests there was a big shift in Limosaurus's diet from adolescence to adulthood. The painstaking analysis revealed something unprecedented in the fossil record. Detailed anatomical study combined with isotope analysis of the fossil bones confirmed these weren't separate species at all. Instead, scientists were witnessing ontogenetic edentialism, the first documented case of age-related tooth loss in non-avian dinosaurs. The late Jurassic ecosystem had produced an evolutionary solution so radical that it defied every assumption about how theropods lived and fed. In the late Jurassic forests of China, a deadly competition was brewing, but it wasn't between different species. It was between parents and their own children. The Shishugo formation reveals an ecosystem teeming with diverse dinosaur life from massive sauropods to swift theropods like Guanlong and Haplochiris. Small predators dominated the landscape, creating an overcrowded marketplace where every scrap of meat became a prize worth fighting for. The climate during this period, approximately 161 to 157 million years ago, was driven by monsoon patterns that created dramatic seasonal shifts. Warm, wet summers brought abundance while dry winters turn the environment harsh and unforgiving. These fluctuating conditions evidenced by the coal and carbon rich deposits throughout the formation created periods when resources became dangerously scarce. When food disappeared, survival depended on outcompeting every other animal in the ecosystem, including members 
of your own species. Intraspecific competition becomes especially deadly when juveniles and adults possess similar body sizes and hunting capabilities. Young Limosaurus measured roughly the same size as their parents and carried identical weaponry, sharp serrated teeth, perfectly designed for processing meat. This created internal warfare within the species as families competed for the same prey animals, scavenging opportunities and hunting territories. Parents found themselves in direct competition with their own offspring for survival. Modern ecosystems demonstrate how devastating this competition can become. When juvenile and adult animals target identical food sources, population crashes often follow. Some species have been driven to local extinction when intraspecific competition intensifies beyond sustainable levels. Others have evolved behavioural changes like territorial separation or different hunting strategies, but these solutions typically take thousands of generations to develop. The seasonal environment made resource scarcity a constant threat throughout the late Jurassic period. During dry seasons, water sources concentrated prey animals into smaller areas, forcing predators to compete more intensely. Small theropods like Limosaurus faced particular pressure because they couldn't take down the massive sauropods that dominated the landscape. They relied on smaller prey insects and carrion, exactly the resources that became most limited during harsh periods. Nature had already experimented with a solution in Limosaurus that was far more radical than anyone imagined. Hidden within the adult specimens, paleontologists discovered gastroliths, smooth rounded stones that appeared in the stomach region. These stomach stones never appeared in juvenile fossils, only in mature adults. Gastroliths serve a specific function, grinding tough plant material that teeth cannot process effectively. The ecological crisis forced an evolutionary solution that completely separated the dietary needs of different life stages. Young Limosaurus retained their sharp teeth for hunting and scavenging, while adults abandoned meat entirely and became specialized plant eaters. This radical transformation eliminated the deadly family competition by creating two distinct ecological roles within a single species. Watching a Limosaurus grow up would be like witnessing a lion cub transform into a gentle giraffe. But the fossil evidence proves this incredible metamorphosis actually happened. The transformation began with juveniles that possessed 42 sharp serrated teeth, perfectly designed for processing meat. These weapons lined both upper and lower jaws, creating an efficient cutting system that could slice through flesh and crack bones with ease. The gradual tooth loss process created a mystery that puzzled researchers for years. How did these animals survive during the transition period when they were losing their primary feeding tools? The fossil record shows that tooth replacement simply stopped during the first year of life, similar to what happens in modern veiled chameleons. Instead of growing new teeth, the jaw bones began developing a completely different structure. Scientists solved this puzzle using isotope analysis, a technique that reads dietary information from ancient bones like a chemical fingerprint. Different food sources leave distinct ratios of carbon-13 and oxygen-18 isotopes in bone tissue, creating permanent records of what an animal ate throughout its lifetime. This method allows paleontologists to reconstruct diets with remarkable precision even after millions of years. The isotopic evidence revealed a dramatic transformation that matched the anatomical changes. Juvenile specimens showed variable signatures, indicating they were omnivores consuming both plants and animals in an opportunistic feeding strategy. Adult specimens exhibited strict herbivore signatures with isotope ratios consistently matching other plant-eating dinosaurs from the same formation. This chemical proof confirmed that the dietary shift was complete and permanent. As teeth disappeared, a smooth, hard beak developed to replace the tooth-based feeding system entirely. The beak formed gradually with keratin-covered bone, creating a cutting edge that could process plant material efficiently. This transformation represents the only known example of such dramatic dental changes in non-avian dinosaurs. Adult digestion relied heavily on gastroliths, smooth stones that functioned like internal millstones to grind tough plant material. 
These stomach stones appeared only in adult specimens, with older individuals carrying larger and more numerous stones. The increased number of gastroliths in mature adults indicates their digestive systems became increasingly specialized for processing fibrous vegetation. Modern animals rarely undergo such complete dietary transformations. Red mullet and armored catfish show similar ontogenetic shifts from varied juvenile diets to specialized adult feeding, but none match the completeness of Limosaurus's change from carnivore to herbivore. The isotope analysis definitively confirmed the carnivore to herbivore shift, while gastroliths proved adults needed mechanical assistance to digest plants. This radical solution eliminated the deadly competition between parents and offspring by creating completely separate ecological roles within a single species. The solution that saved Limosaurus from extinction 160 million years ago would eventually become one of the most successful innovations in animal history, the bird beak. By creating age-based niche division, Limosaurus developed a brilliant survival strategy that eliminated deadly family competition. Young animals hunted and scavenged with their sharp teeth, while adults peacefully grazed on plants with their smooth beaks. This separation meant parents and offspring never competed for the same resources, allowing both generations to thrive in the same ecosystem. This discovery revolutionized understanding of theropod evolution and ignited debates about how beaked animals first evolved. Before Limosaurus, scientists assumed that major anatomical features like beaks appeared gradually across many generations through natural selection. The idea that such dramatic changes could occur within a single lifetime challenged fundamental assumptions about evolutionary mechanisms and the pathway from teeth to beaks in dinosaur lineages. The concept of heterochronic evolution explains how features that first appear in adults can gradually shift to appear earlier in development over evolutionary time. In Limosaurus beak, development occurred only in mature individuals, but this process could become the foundation for future evolutionary changes. Over millions of years, genetic mutations might cause beak formation to begin earlier in development, eventually creating species where beaks appear from birth rather than developing during adulthood. Modern bird evolution likely followed this exact pattern across vast stretches of time. Early theropod ancestors may have developed beaks only as adults similar to Limosaurus, but successive generations experienced beak development at progressively younger ages. This heterochronic process would eventually produce birds where beak formation begins during embryonic development, creating the lifetime beaks we observe in modern species. Evidence from other theropod lineages supports this evolutionary pathway from adult-only beaks to lifetime beaks. Jehalornis, an early bird from the Cretaceous period, shows a complicated pattern of tooth loss that closely resembles Limosaurus. The similarities between these species suggest that ontogenetic tooth loss and beak development occurred multiple times throughout theropod evolution, indicating this was a successful adaptive strategy. This niche separation strategy appears throughout modern animal kingdoms, demonstrating the enduring power of this ancient solution. Tadpoles filter feed on algae and organic matter while adult frogs hunt insects and small animals. Many fish species show similar ontogenetic dietary shifts with juveniles eating different prey than their parents. These examples prove that age-based resource division continues to solve competition problems across diverse ecosystems. Limosaurus provides the missing link in understanding beak evolution and demonstrates that dramatic anatomical changes within a single lifetime can become the foundation for major evolutionary innovations. This ancient dinosaur shows how individual developmental flexibility can drive species-wide evolutionary changes over geological timescales. The genetic pathways that controlled tooth formation and beak development in Limosaurus became the blueprint copied throughout evolutionary history, eventually producing the incredible diversity of beaked animals we see today. Limosaurus proves that evolution isn't just about slow changes across generations. 
Sometimes the most successful solutions involve dramatic transformations within a single lifetime that later become evolutionary templates. This ancient dinosaur challenges our assumptions about evolutionary change and shows that the flexibility we see in modern ecosystems has ancient roots stretching back hundreds of millions of years. The next time you watch a bird using its beak to crack seeds or probe for insects, you're witnessing the legacy of an ancient Chinese dinosaur that solved the ultimate family feud by reinventing itself completely.